Hey everyone, make sure my truck's locked. Double checking my sled, make sure I have everything. Main camera, GoPros, check, auger, jigging poles, my sonar, Garmin Striker 4 sonar, check, knee pad, lures, extra jigging rods, check, check, check. Okay, hey, I'm over here, it's kinda unsafe. Here we've got. I'm on a body of water called Rocky Lake. And I'm in Maine, but there's two rocky lakes close by. Way up like 192. If you take Route 192 in Down East Maine, you can hit another rocky lake. This is a second rocky lake that I know about. This is a smaller rocky lake. That other rocky lake off of 192 or way further away from here is a lot bigger. We got a an outlet here heading towards Orange Lake over here. And I do believe there's yellow perch in here. There's a uh, smallmouth, largemouth bass, yellow perch, pickerel, possibly white perch. I read it in the book what there is for species of fish in here. But it's my hope to target some perch, yellow perch or white perch. So I'm going to... It doesn't look safe here. We've got an outlet. I doubt it's safe to get on right here. So there's a guy fishing right over here. There's someone jigging right there. So if I, I'm gonna bush while I'm gonna hug the shoreline. Take my sled and I'm gonna walk right along here. Try to get out there. So. Yeah. yeah. So I can hug the hug the shoreline. I'm gonna stay, try to stay on shore the best I can with my sled and all my gear. Stay away from this channel and this moving water. There's a guy fishing right over here, so I'm gonna try to get as close to him as possible. I know that the ice is safe enough to walk on there. My goal is to keep my sled with all my heavy gear near shore. I'm not gonna take it out with me when I drill holes to jig. I'm gonna take my Garmin. I'm gonna take just the bare minimum, my jigging pole, my Garmin. Scoop, I scoop my auger and drill a couple holes. Try to pinpoint where the perch are. See if I can find the fish. I'm running and gunning for perch, for yellow perch and white perch. So I hope I can find some out here on Rocky Lake. On one of the two Rocky Lakes in Down East Maine. Alright, I'm going bush whack in here. Yeah. Getting into the... Whatever they call it, polywag, pillywag, whatever they call it. Alright. I'm going bush, bushwhacking. And I'm here in the evening, it's like 2, 2 p.m. It's like two and a half hours before dark, so... I'm out here after work. It's my goal to hit, hit the evening bite. So, let's see what we can do. Yeah, stay away from that over there. Here we're gonna. All right. Yeah, look at the stuff I gotta go through. All right. So, yeah, I'm gonna hug the shoreline, try to get out onto there. There's an open hole right there. I see a spot that was open right there, and it looks like it was open there, and definitely staying clear of all this area right here. So I gotta. Hug the shoreline. All right. Hug the shoreline, go bushwhack in here, see if I can get out onto some safe ice. I don't know if I'll have any luck. But we're gonna find out, aren't we? About to find out. Follow this on. There we go. Let's do this. All right, let's do this. Mark, let's do this. All right, look at this stuff. Look at this stuff. I'm getting sticks on my sled. Yeah. Look at that. Some good times, man. Some good times. Yeah. 
gotta stay away from that channel right there. Yeah. All right. Someone cut some stuff over here. Cut. Ooh. Yeah. Wonder if this guy had any luck. About to find out. through man down man down. I just fell through I think it's soft soft over here look at that I'm in the water there breaking through right there look probably flowing the water away there. so that's all open water there and there She's cracking. That's pretty sketchy shit. Ooh. Sketchy stuff right there. Huh. Sketchy stuff. Sketchy matchy. Wonder if I should drill. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this right near shore. I'm gonna go see how much ice is right there. Uh, I feel a little sketched out by it, but is that an old hole over there? Might be an old hole right there. Oh. Alright. See what we got for ice. See you in a minute. Out. See how deep it is now. All right, so we got six inches of ice. Now you gotta go see how deep deep it is. See if I can get on some fish in these shallows. 
Got one. It's a pickerel. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Oh, did we get hung up? Uh-oh. Hope we don't get hung up on the shoot. Woo! Caught one, guys. Chain pickerel. Got ourselves a chain pickerel. You! I didn't get skunked today. Came out of nowhere. Oh. Yeah, we caught ourselves a chain pickerel. Sweet. Got a chain pickerel. Nice. I didn't get skunked. Yeah. Alright, I gotta unhook this bag. Yeah. Got a pickerel. Evening bite. Come on, I guess. We're on the left. Chains up lures and caught, actually caught something. Pretty cool. There he goes. Oh, you gonna make it? There he goes. Sweet. Yeah, so I changed up lures to a uh, to forage minnow. It's called forage minnow from oh. I wasn't having any luck. Been here for two hours, haven't caught anything. And uh, finally, uh, oh, let's see. You still on the line? She might have hung up. Oh, what's it called? It's called that. Uh, we got the piece of paper. Northland Fish and Tackle. It's from Northland Fish and Tackle. It's called a forage minnow. And uh, yeah, it's good for like panfish, for crappie, pumpkin seed sunfish, perch, yellow perch, white perch, obviously chain pickerel, trout. It's a good all around lure. It's an orange green white pattern with red treble hook. It's called a forage minnow by Northland Fish and Tackle. And I just caught it chain pickerel here at, on out of rocky lake with this so not a bad little lure let's see if i can catch another fish maybe some perch will come around all right i gotta change batteries in that gopro over there my gopro max the battery died I gotta change the battery let's get back to fishing now there we go we got it GoPro Max wasn't turning on. Well, there was a fish there at four feet, and it just chirped twice, the Garmin Strike of Four. My lure is at the two foot mark, the solid green on the white. I got a fish checking it out, guys. Oh. It's chirping. Yeah. Come on, come get it. Got a fish checking out my lure, but won't come on. Yeah, I'm the solid green on my Garmin Strike of Four. There, the 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 red, yellow, green is a fish checking my lure out. Okay, there I am at about three feet. I'm the solid green at about the two foot mark. At four feet is a fish. And it's chirping too, and he's checking out my lure, but he won't. Come on, might be perch. Yeah, we got a fish there. Come on, it might be that pickerel I just caught. Oh, oh, here he comes! Here he comes! He's got him! Got him! Got him! Yeah, got him! Nice. I don't know what it is. Whew. Oh, it's another pickerel. Oh, yeah, another pickerel. That's all right. I'll take it. Here, I gotta, gotta set the pole down. Take my gloves off so I can get my pliers. Nice. Pretty sweet.
You didn't want to take it right away. A little bit bigger than the last one, probably, but I'm gonna probably call it a day after this, after I let this fish go. Oh, let's see, where's that? How's that hook on there? Wow. If I can get my hook, if I can get my hook out of his mouth, got it. That was easy. Nice. All right, so a little chain pickerel. We'll let him go. There he goes. Rinse my hand off. Oh, yeah, slime. Whew. Probably call it a day. So that's two chain prickles pickerel out of this hole that was really cool to watch it on the watch the mark watch the red green mark come up from the bottom on my garmin striker four and i was i've been watching this fish for a little while check my lure out it wouldn't commit wouldn't bite but i finally got him to so that was pretty neat pretty cool Yeah. Well, so that was pretty neat. I've been fishing for a couple hours, getting getting skunked out here, not getting anything. And I switched lures. I switched from a Swedish pimple, a gold colored, with a little red flasher on it, Swedish pimple, to this uh, this whatever it is. It's a forage minnow by Northland Tackle. It's an orange, green, white pattern with red treble hook from Northland Tackle, it's a forage minnow lure. And it's these chain pickerel here in Rocky Lake like it. So that's what I caught these two pickerel on. I'm gonna call it a day. It's getting dark on me here. So I'm gonna pack up, head home, get some dinner, spend some time with the family. Supposedly there's brook trout and brown trout in here. So I was using a small Swedish pimple, hoping to get some trout. And I switched up to this forage minnow by Northland Tackle. It's an orange, green, white pattern called the forage minnow by Northland Tackle. And I caught two chain pickerel on it. So I didn't get skunked here. It's my first time fishing this rocky lake here in Whiting, Maine. And, oh, still a fish down there. It's flash, there's still a fish hanging out down there. It might be that pickerel I just released. But I'm going to pack up, head home, get some dinner, spend some time with the family. Check on the, that buck I just mounted. I'm, I've been doing taxidermy for a couple of years. So i gotta, I got to do the finishing work on a buck I just finished. And I'm tanning up another buck cape and thawing out another cape to work on, to flesh and shave down to get ready for tanning. So I'm going to go home and spend some time with the family, get some dinner, do a little taxidermy work maybe. Who knows? Maybe just relax on the couch, watch some TV with the wife. But I didn't get skunked on the old rocky lake here in Whiting, Maine. First time here. I'm going to come back with some traps and live bait. Put them out and still do some jigging. I'm going to see if I can't get in a deep hole and get some yellow perch on the jigging pole. And maybe catch a brown or two or some brook trout on the, on the tip-ups. But I'll be back. First time out here to this lake. I'm definitely coming back, see if I can't catch some other species of fish that are out here. Hey, if this video has been helpful in any way, maybe you learned a thing or two or you were just entertained, why don't you go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I'd greatly appreciate that follow. Hit that like button before you leave. If you've never heard of Super Thanks, go ahead and check it out. Click that Super Thanks down below, that, that button down below this video. and You could donate money to me to help me help fund my trips like this so I can produce more videos like this for all of you to watch. I'd greatly appreciate the support, everybody. Hey, see you next time.